stuff I've collected over the years. Now, what I'm using here are some Kmart 6x6 paper pads. Now, they are called, they call them a paper stack and they're 6x6. And I've had this one, had these for a couple, probably nearly 12 months. Um, I'm using the Bloom paper stack and the Baby Mini paper stack because I'm pulling out the blue bits and pieces. The only thing that I can do as far as blue on a layout usually is when I scrapbook Gizmo and because he's the only other than my husband the only blue if you're sticking to traditional colors <laughs> that's the, that's the only time I really use a lot of blue so I felt like making a blue quilted design that's that's where my brain was I just wanted to go through the process and just get into it and see how I feel about it so I and I absolutely love this layout to be completely honest it came together in the end and I loved it so or I, I don't loved it I love it <laughs> so what am I I'm just using my creative memories one and a half inch hexi punch and any hexagon punch will work it's totally your call you could make them smaller than this you could make them larger than this what I'm doing these are papers they're not card stocks so I'm actually punching two sheets at a time because obviously it's going otherwise I'll be here all day punching out papers like <laughs> but Look, I'll be honest with you, the Creative Memories, I love their punches. I've had these ones for years and they still work just as well as they did the day I bought them. Um, and to be completely honest with you, they're fantastic because they nest into each other. So I've got all four sizes in, so there's two separate punches and you get the them going up in increments. So... I absolutely love them and it makes life so much easier. Sorry about the glare. It's all right. I actually, <laughs> you're going to love what I did here in a minute. I actually, Taylor was waffling and walking around and doing her thing and whatever. And I said to her, can you come here for a minute? And she's like, yeah, why? What's up? And she came, <laughs> she came in the craft room. Right about there it was. I said, can you just stand right there for about 10 minutes? Just stand right there. And she's like, are you serious? I'm like, yeah, you need to, you need to stand right there. I literally used her as a sun shield. You guys are more than welcome. I am. <laughs> I kid you not. Sometimes, uh, look, usually I'm not still scrapping at this time in the afternoon. I usually am off doing my mummy duties, but Jen's been off sick all this week. She's got the flu and she's been pretty crook actually so um i've managed to squeeze in a couple of extra layouts this week which is fantastic because it gets me a little bit further in front which then allows for if i'm not well or if the kids aren't well or if something pops up you know like my father-in-law or something like that so i'm really taking advantage of it and i've been in a paper mode this way. I know that sounds stupid, but sometimes I'm in creative background from mixed media. That's my mood. Or the flip side of that, I'm in, as I said, I'm in a paper mo mode. Paper mode. That doesn't even sound right, does it? I'm, I'm really wanting to play with just papers. So that is what I'm doing. I There's no mixed media on this page. Oh, there's a little bit of ink, but there's not, it's not fully mixed media. It's not messy. It's So for those of you that often ask me to do a layout that doesn't involve a, lo involve a lot of mixed media, I don't consider, that was me fixing up my podcast, um... I was listening to Carrie and Tommy. They crack me up sometimes. I swear to God. If you're an Aussie, Carrie Bickmore, Tommy Little podcasts are so funny. Sometimes, sometimes I think they sort of pick on Carrie a little bit, but I guess that's the banter of the show. 
So I have, I'm just going through and I'm creating a hexagon background. I haven't done one of these in a really long time, over 12 months since I've done a full background with hexagon punches. I remember I did one last year with um, ugly papers. No worries, we got this covered, we can deal with it. This is a really good way to use your pattern papers that you might look at and go, that's really busy or that's really bright or that's too florally for me. Or you'd be very surprised if you use your punches, use your dies, use your cricket, use your silhouette. You pick, pick your tool of choice. I mean, if you don't have punches, you can literally use a measuring tape, a, a ruler, and a measuring tape, a ruler. Okay, let's come back to the paper realm. Let's use a ruler. You can actually create a hexagon yourself and trace it onto your paper and cut it out. I know that's going to take a lot longer, but you know what? Sometimes we don't have the money for the tools, so that's what we do. Now, that being said, I know financially everyone is struggling at the moment, like everyone. I don't know anyone that is not feeling the pinch from interest rates going up. I mean, here in Australia, if you're overseas, FYI, we have had an, a, an interest rate increase. Another one came through on Tuesday and that is the 12th interest rate increase that we've had in just over 12 months. So we are now paying a lot more. If you're a mortgage owner and you've got a, you know, you've got a mortgage, let me know below how much is it hurting? It's hurting a lot. It's hurting a lot. So you will see me using my collection, my stash, more than you probably did 12 months ago. And I'm doing that for a reason. Not necessarily for me personally to save lots of money on buying new collections, but I want us to, when times are hard and times are tough, I want us to realize that we still have stuff in our collections that we can create beautiful layouts and get our mental health in the right place because that's what scrapbooking is for me. Scrapbooking for me is one of those things where I literally, if I don't do it, I find my brain overthinks and overprocesses everything to turmoil stage. So I find that, you know, it keeps my depression under control, it keeps my anxiety under control, and for that reason, I'm very, very happy to reach back into my collection of paper pads, papers, paints, inks, all the stuff that I've been buying over the years gone by, create with that. And that's what I want you to, you guys to do. I'm not coming on here every single day pushing you to buy products that you can't afford okay it's it's not about that that's not what my channel's about my channel is and I think it's been a while since I've mentioned why I do my channel why I started to do my channel it's because I want to share the love of scrapbooking with you show you ways of creating beautiful layouts I know I scrapbook a little bit differently to other people but I just want you guys to know that I don't come on here to get you to spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars on paper pads, paper packs, mixed media, you know, all that sort of thing. I spend it because I love the products. I think you would love them too. But always keep it within your means, guys. You know, it's not, it's not fun to craft if you've pushed yourself to, into debt to do it you know when you have to minimize using your materials to spread them a long way I do that too but 
at the end of the day, like this particular layout, those two paper packs, they were $4 a piece. Now you could use, I ended up using, what do I use? Um, two, four, six, eight. I used eight six by six sheets. Now I know that sounds, how did you fit eight six by sixes on there when it's one 12 by 12? I know, right? But you've got a little bit of wastage when you're using a punch. So in that particular color. So I've also used my Cricut to cut out my title. Now I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I totally stuffed up. But at the end of it, I actually really like it. Normally when I put my Cricut mat in, usually I have the, the, the title on one and then I put it in again and I do my offset. But for some reason, Cricut, my Jiminy decided to mess with my head and he's put my words on here as well as my offset on one sheet. And it wasn't until I got to this point that I realized, oh no, I have actually colored one of my background pieces. So the word beautiful is actually my offset that I've colored. Yeah, I know, just don't even with it. <laughs> I was so mad. I was like, oh man. But then Taylor, who was still at this stage standing in my, in my sunshine, she actually said to me, she goes, you know what, mum, I actually think that looks better. And so it was, I'll be completely honest with you, total mistake. I could have come on here and said to you that, check out this amazing idea that I came up with. I didn't. It was a mistake and it's a happy accident. That's what it is. I'll call it for what it is. So I ended up using two different colored distress inks, distress oxide inks. They were the oxides, not the inks. I used Stormy Sky and Faded Jeans and I decided to go over, I decided to go, I, I don't know why I pulled this stencil out, this dot stencil, I don't know why I thought I would use it. Look how much texture paste I've got left in that container, would ya? This is my favourite one, so I need to get some more desperately. Uh, I still, I have my... Um, range of texture paste so I'm not out of it but I prefer this one because it's lighter and it's fluffy it's like a mousse more or less um so this is me this is me gluing it down and I love those sticky mats I gotta tell you if you're an Aussie and you place orders with crafts online get yourself one of those sticky mats they are really 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 handy and I use all my mixed media on there whether it's oxide inks whether it's inks whether it's um I used waxes on it the other day, just wiped it off with a bum wipe and it came clean. It was perfect. So, um, yeah. So as you can see, I have part of my title inked up and going on top with a white offset. And I wanted the white offset because it's going on a blue background. That's why I wanted to do it that way. But I thought, don't stop. Just keep going. Happy accident. Let's see what happens. And it was about here that Taylor said to me, she goes, I actually like that. I like that they're different. And I went, mm, okay. Sorry, I'm fighting a migraine today. So I'm trying very hard. I've, I don't know why I haven't had a migraine. I haven't had a migraine for a very long time. And it's my own stupid fault because I actually said to Tazzy the other day that my, I haven't had a migraine for ages. They've been so good. And then boom, bada, bing. <laughs> Think about it and I get one. So it's a bit, it's a bit of a annoying situation today, but that's all right. I'll get over it. So when Taylor said that that actually looked okay, I was like, you know what? It actually does. It come together not too bad. So I took half an inch off each side, off two sides, and I wasn't going to run around with ink, but then I thought it needed a darker border before I put it on the white border. So by this stage, guys, letting you know, Taylor had moved because the sun had moved. <laughs> she wasn't still standing there, which was kind of kind of funny. So I'm just gutting when I when I gut a piece of paper like that, I don't measure it or anything. I just 
chop it out with my craft knife and I'm just going around I didn't put this down perfectly square and you can see it there so the left side and the right side it's not perfectly in the middle but because I did it with art glitter glue guess what can't change it it's stuck like that now so this is where I decided to use my inks again to create because you know I have issues I've got to have the colors right so I'm just adding a little bit of faded jeans around the outside edge of, of it's basically going to be my photo mat and this is a really good easy way if you spend the money on the oxides these things last a lot now you guys know if you're if you're an OG you know how much I use my distress oxides right and I bought these for my I bought the full set of oxides this time last year because I bought them all for my birthday and which is on Saturday um sorry this video is going up next week I have a birthday last week X Y F Y I um so I've had these for 12 months. I use them at least, I reckon I probably, out of six layouts a week, I reckon I use it on, use them on at least five, at least, somewhere on the layout. Like this particular one, it's just on the titles, but still I've used it and I've used it around the outside edge and I've used it to do the photo matting and I absolutely love it. Now these are still going strong. They're not needing they're not needing any kind of reinkers yet, but I am at the point where I'm going to start to reink them. Um I'm just going around doing a bit of line work on some of these hexagons just to draw your attention to the fact that they are hexagons. I don't go around all of them. It's just a few and I kind of go around the whole thing. So you'll see at the very end how it looks. You could go, I, I was going to use my sewing machine and stitch because I've been really, I've got an itch to stitch for some reason at the moment. I don't know why, but I want to use my sewing machine. So I'll probably do that on a layout today. But um, if my head cooperates and yeah so to be completely honest with you i absolutely love just doing it with my my pen and doing like faux stitching marks or whatever these ones i just did straight strips because i thought you guys might get dizzy watching me spinning and flicking this but um but yeah back to the oxides they last a lot so your little one inch cubes the to use a one inch distress ink cube versus the three by three inch cube you've actually got five times the amount of ink in it so you get bang for buck when you buy the larger one I know they're dearer but the other thing is too now I've bought every single color right because my intention is to bring you guys different content as much as I can at least six days a week that's that's what I'm doing that's what I do so I bought all of them so that I had the full range. I can tell you there are some colors that I don't reach for very often at all, like brushed corduroy, um, antique linen. Um, I'm just looking up there. Blueprint sketch I don't reach for very often. Um... Believe it or not, speckled egg. I haven't reached for speckled egg very much either. Um, Lucky Clover. So there are some that I would genuinely say, unless that color really appeals to you or you have a, you can do a mini album or something like that, you don't need all of the inks. I can tell you that right now. It's You, you just don't. I personally don't use all of them. So these are my sprinkly shiny bits that I bought from Alina Crafts from AliExpress. I love these things. They are so cheap. So, so, so cheap. And they're like little domed hexagon cones is what I would call them. And the light just catches on every angle and I love them. I wanted to just add some sparkles in and around the I was going to just leave it all matte and then I went, nah, can't do it. 
I have to add some shimmer and shine. It has to happen. Now, I'm not happy with how the word beautiful looks. I like the border, but the texture paste is not doing it for me. It's too much of a matte finish. So out of one of these Kmart paper pa pages, there was uh, a stack of butterflies. So I just fussy cut a couple out because... I felt like it needed something extra. So I just added some butterflies just for a little bit of 3D goodness. So I've gone through and I'm just adding a little bit of periwinkle liquid pearls and some white opal liquid pearls. So the periwinkle I'm adding to my butterflies, but the white opal I decided to come in and go over where I put the texture paste. I know, waste of product. But if you're not happy with the end result, you've got to do something with it. Otherwise, you're not going to like the layout. So I went through and just put some white opal over where those dots were with the texture paste. And then I'm happy with it. So here's the close-up for you guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know if this is something that you're, you would consider giving it a go. Look at all those pretty blue sparkles. They're so pretty. I love them. And yeah, I like having that twinkle across the page. Even though this is a boy layout and I've used flowers all over it and butterflies all over it. Don't be scared, guys. You can pull it off. Okay, this is with a dog, not a child. But, you know, you can pull it off. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. I love all of it. Thanks for that, guys. Bye for now.